You're watching NASA TV. Good morning from the International Space Station Flight Control Room here at the Johnson Space Center in Houston, Texas, and welcome to Mission Control as we begin our coverage today of U.S. Spacewalk 87. You are looking live inside the equipment lock of the Quest airlock of the International Space Station as two astronauts prepare to venture outside the Quest airlock a short time from now. So again, today's spacewalk will see the crew members working to install the fifth IROSA to the International Space Station. This IROSA will be on the 1A power channel on the starboard truss of the International Space Station. And on June 15th, we'll have an additional spacewalk to install the array on the 1B power channel. Uh, step seven, we'll let you know when seven. We'll leave echoes on and proceeding with step seven. And getting a good view of some of the tools that will be used during today's spacewalk, you did see the space drill or the pistol grip tool, which will be utilized quite heavily throughout today's spacewalk. You're also seeing some of the tethers float. Those will be utilized to ensure that the crew is attached to the International Space Station at all times. This video is for the ISIS Rollout Solar Ray or IROSA 1A install EVA. Steve Bowen, EV1 with the red stripes, egresses and receives a crew lock bag and puts it on his body restraint tether. EV2 with white stripes, Woody Hoberg, egresses with the crew lock bag on his body restraint tether and closes the thermal cover. EV1 translates up the forward face of the truss and goes starboard. He stops to configure safety tethers. EV2 follows a similar translation path and goes to the port crew equipment translation aid cart to temporarily stow his bag and retrieve an articulating portable foot restraint. Meanwhile, EV1 translates to the IROSA carrier, stows his bag, and retrieves his pistol grip tool. EV1 begins preparing IROSA for removal from the carrier, first releasing a restraint bolt on the upper IROSA. EV2 relocates the foot restraint and installs it on the space station's robotic arm. EV2 ingresses the foot restraint, and then the arm will move him away from the truss. EV1 translates to the lower IROSA and releases its first restraint bolt. He releases both anti-rotation devices back on the upper IROSA, and then will stow them in the crew lock bag. On the robotic arm, EV2 is flown over to access two sets of bolts on the boom end of the upper IROSA. The first two bolts will allow the boom deployment system rollers to be moved into place to help with the array deployment later in the spacewalk. The second two bolts will release two of four mechanisms that hold the IROSA in its rolled up configuration. EV-1 partially releases the upper IROSA's restraint bolt and installs the first of two handling aids called scoops and prep for removing IROSA from the carrier. The arm flies EV-2 over to the hinge end of the upper IROSA and both crew members work to release the final bolt holding it to the carrier. EV-1 installs a second scoop and EV-2 lifts the IROSA off of the carrier. After several maneuvers on the robotic arm, EV-2 will arrive at the 1A mod kit worksite. During these maneuvers, EV-1 will pick up the temporarily stowed bag from the port cart and reconfigure both crew's safety tethers on his way to meet EV-2 at the mod kit. Both crew will then work to install IROSA onto the 1A mounting bracket.
The crew will release the scoops, and EV-2 will move into position to release the final bolt holding Irosa in its folded position. Once released, EV-1 will hold Irosa closed while EV-2 egresses his foot restraint and gets into position. Both crew will then work together to unfold Irosa and secure the right side onto the mounting bracket. Once secured, EV-2 will drive two hinge bolts that hold Irosa in the unfolded position. EV-2 will then move away from Irosa to reconfigure a safety tether on the arm. EV-1 works to drive eight bolts to fully secure the Irosa to the mounting bracket. Both crew will then work to electrically connect the new Irosa to the ISS power system. They'll first attach four connectors to Irosa, then both will move to either side of the legacy array to disconnect the old array and connect a Y cable. This will allow power to flow from both the new Irosa and the legacy array to the space station power system. At this point, EV-1 moves into a deployment viewing position, and EV-2 will release the final two bolts restraining Irosa in the undeployed position. Irosa will deploy over the next 6 to 10 minutes. During deployment, EV-1 translates back to the Irosa carrier to reconfigure the carrier beams that previously held the upper Irosa. These beams need to be rotated out of the way to allow access to the lower Irosa on the second EVA. Once deployment is complete, EV-2 will release two bolts that allow the Irosa blankets to become tensioned. EV-2 then cleans up the mod kit worksite, retrieving his crew lock bag, and heads to the carrier to help EV-1 with the carrier beams. The crew members will work together to release the bolts holding the beams in place. Then they will rotate the beams out of the way and secure them back down. This is the last task in the first DVA. Both crew will clean up the worksite and translate back to the airlock. They will clean up their tethers on the way. They will then work to ingress and begin repressing the airlock. This will finish the first of two EVAs. was an overview of what we can expect during today's spacewalk. On your screen here on the top right, you see NASA astronaut Frank Rubio continuing to step through procedures to get the crew ready to head out of the airlock later this morning. And towards the lower left of your screen, you see United Arab Emirates astronaut Sultan Al Nayadi. He's working alongside Rubio to prepare to get the simplified aid for EVA rescue or SAFER installed. Rubio and Alneati continuing to get the safer, simplified aid for EVA rescue installed on NASA astronaut Steve Bowen's spacesuit. Following installation of the safer, Bowen will be moved to the crew airlock for depress.
Bank emergency MPEV closed. Now we are in post depress. Woody and Steve, on your DCMs, switch power to bat, stagger your switch throws, and expect a warning tone. Sir, EV1 power, power to battery. Copy. EV2, going to battery. EV1, could be sir, blank, go bite. And we are seeing NASA astronaut Steve Bowen egress the airlock. He's designated EV-1 today, and he'll be wearing that spacesuit with the red stripe, so he's the first out of the airlock. Steve, no rush at all, but I've got crew lock back to you when you're ready. Okay. Just give me a second. And next out of the airlock is going to be NASA astronaut Woody Hoberg, who is completing his very first spacewalk this morning. He'll be wearing the spacesuit with no stripes on it, the unmarked spacesuit, and his des designation is EV-2. Once both crew members are out of the airlock, they'll work to translate to their next location, but first they're going to turn the lights on on their helmet cameras. Cover for my waist feather. Copy. Just tend to close for now. Thanks, Woody. Copy. And Bowen and Hoberg completed some initial checks to, to ensure everything is looking good on their suits. They're now going to get that thermal hatch cover closed. Steve, I have a caution for you. Avoid contact with the deployed test cable. Okay. Understand, avoid contact with the test cable. Good read back for you both for around two minutes to sunrise. Uh, my marker, by the way? You're looking for the FHRC, so F1 FHRC. Steve, that mile marker is 6300. 6300, thank you. All right, Jenny, I copy. Thanks. Steve, when ready, I have cautions and a warning for you. Okay, stand by. All right, we're doing awesome. Warning, grapple shafts and curvet coupling are no touch. And cautions, no aggressive movements or quick grabs on the FSE. Translate slowly. Wait for motion to dampen out before imparting loads and do not contact the IROSA blankets. All right, I understand and copy all. Green hook, I should say. I copy your green hook on handrail 3011. 3011 or 3011? 3011. Okay. Following this, Steve, you'll be translating onto the FSE via the POA. And the crew is running about 10 minutes ahead of today's timeline. The ret on the bag, so that's now on your swing arm, and I need a glove inspection hat check. Okay. Did you record the special hat check first? Okay, 30 centimeters to go. Continue. 
Continuing. They're ramping out. Okay, we do that is half a meter station nader. Copy, Sultan. That is uh, GCA complete. That's a perfect position. Right, copy. GCA complete, and brakes are coming on. Copy, brakes on. Bravo. That first IROSA solar array by um, removing some bolts and working through some procedures to loosen it up before it can be hand carried by Hoberg on the robotic arm. Have a meter to go. Right, uh, Woody, ready when you are, we're going to bring you first station forward about um, 80 centimeters and then um, station later uh, 3 meters and 60 centimeters. Ron, I'm ready for all of that. You go. And uh, starting motion, station forward. Good motion, Fulton. Copy, good motion. And as you can see on your screen now, Holberg now being moved while in that articulating portable foot restraint on the Canada arm. That Canada arm is being operated by United Arab Emirates astronaut Sultan Al Nayadi, who is inside the International Space Station. and an anti-rotation device, which will enable the IROSA to be released from the pallet. Following this, Hoberg will hand carry it while on the Canada Arm 2 over to the 1A work site. Okay, two meters to go. Continue. Okay, continue. And Hoberg continuing to be moved on the Canada Arm 2. Meanwhile, Bowen is working with the Pistol Grip Tool, or PGT, to release bolts. This is a restraint bolt. Next up, he's going to work on releasing the anti-rotation devices. All of this is all of this is in preparation for ultimately removing the International Space Station rollout solar array from this carrier, this pallet that it is temporarily stowed on. And All right, point the air, the off. I can so, so far I'm ready for him off or mm -hmm. Okay, Woody, uh, we uh, need a few minutes, a few seconds to set up our values here. Take your time. All right, the ARD is removed. Happy ARD removed. Your settings are Bravo 1. Clockwise two, and you'll be driving this stop block bolt to torque. Bravo one clockwise two. That's set. set. Good settings. Okay, one meter to go, Woody. Continue. Yeah. All right, Steve. I copy eleven foot pounds and a green light. Could you say turn count again? Turn count was. Point five. Half a meter to go. Continue. Got to continue. We're just checking on those turns, Steve. 
it, uh, bumper rolled on top of the uh, mount. So you might not get as many turns as you might have expected. Okay, so it's on stop motion. But you can look at it. It's it's on there nice and snug. Mike, could you say turn count again? Turn count was 45. Half a meter to go. Can you? Got to continue. We're just checking on those turns, Steve. It, uh, bumper rolled on top of the uh, mount. So you might not get as many turns as you might have expected. Okay, so try to stop motion. But you can look at it. It's, it's on there nice and snug. One feet by two feet by four feet. Got eight turns, and it's loose for the ARD. Copy eight turns on the ARD. You or on the stop block bolt. You can remove the ARD. Not removed. The ARD is removed. Ready for settings to drive back in. Bravo one, clockwise two. We can get ahead on our checks here, uh, so a warning for both of you, do not release C1 until I give you the go. Three and about 26 turns, and bulls should spring out. Right, that's starting right now. Good words. You just heard the ground IV here in the room, Jenny Gibbons, um, to speak with the NASA astronauts outside the space station, Woody Hoberg and Steve Bowen. They were given the go to release the IROSA. So both crew members are now working to remove the final bolt holding the IROSA to the carrier. And uh, for this motion, uh, we expect about uh, four meters, and for Woody, it's going to be bodied down. Okay. Three. And we are starting motion. You heard confirmation that NASA astronaut Steve Bowen has installed the second scoop onto the carrier, and uh, Woody Bowen, or Woody Hoberg, has lifted it off of the carrier. There will now be several maneuvers with Hoberg on the robotic arm, and then he will arrive at the 1A mod kit work site. During these maneuvers, Steve Bowen will pick up the temporarily stowed crew lock bag from the port cart and reconfigure both of his safety tethers on his way to meet Hoberg at the mod kit. Houston copies, since we are clear of the grapple tower, and this is a procedure to publish position, I'm going to pick up calm with Steve. Steve, perform a socket swap. I need the 5, 8, 12-inch wobble on the socket caddy and the 2-inch from your trash bag on your PGT. I understand the 5, 8 going to the socket caddy, the 2-inch from my trash bag coming on my PGT. Good words. I'll take pull tests for everything, and then you will be cleaning up the crew lock bag with everything inside of it, doors facing the FSE. That ret can go into the bag, Steve. Understand. I'll just put it in the bag. Currently on your screen, you can see NASA astronaut Woody Hoberg uh, as he is on the space station's robotic arm, moving the International Space Station rollout solar array to the 1A mod kit worksite.
Today's spacewalk is the 264th spacewalk in support of Space Station Assembly, Maintenance, and Upgrades, and the seventh spacewalk out of the International Space Station for this year. Today's spacewalkers are NASA astronauts uh, Steve Bowen and Woody Hoberg. They are working to in install an IROSA or International Space Station rollout solar array. This will augment the power generation for the 1A power channel on the station's starboard truss structure. Motion. Copy. Good morning. Steve and Woody will be in insulation in about two minutes. Thanks, Thanks James. We are now about one hour and 48 minutes into today's spacewalk. We are actually about an hour ahead of the scheduled timeline. Once they arrive at the mod kit site, they will begin the process to install the IROSA onto the 1A mounting rocket. My BRT. And releasing it from the ski to coach. Copy, Steve. Head, we want to hold and get all crew in position. That mean, means we'll have time for Steve to drop the green hooks and get in a good position by the mounting bracket before we go to the install position. From there, we will push with the procedure as written. Oh, there you are. Here I am. Give me one second to get stable. One. Good motion. Copy. Good motion. Pass me to go. Continue. Copy. Continue. Let's hold position there. Hold position. Feels a little high, actually. I think they're a little high and a little short. You need to come toward me. Another uh, 30 centimeters. Stay complete. I agree. All right. Uh, GC complete and brakes are coming on. Copy. Brakes are on. Houston right, copies. Brakes are on. You can work together for install. Uh, just go slow, Steve. Yep. I agree. Going real slow this way. Yep. Moving to my uh, perch here. Okay. For the push. For the mass canister. Okay. I see them starting to get in. Oh, they can continue toward the mass canister. I run it up into something. Let's see. Get eyes on it. Both of our spacewalkers have made their way to the 1A mod kit work site. From here, the crew will work together to install the IROSA or International Space Station rollout solar array onto the 1A mounting bracket. Hey, look. Yeah, I think it's just the end made little lift that holds the pin.
I think we're in the right position with Irosa. And your Okay, we're gonna get this. Real side real quick. Yep. And we 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 copy and we're standing by. Okay, thanks for that. Actually I got it. So just record. Crown okay. copies off. From this view, you can see that Woody Hoberg has egressed the foot restraint from the robotic arm. All right. Steve, I am in a, let's see, get my eyes on this soft dock. Yeah, I'm in a good position. Do you want to cycle it? I um, can it. To make sure it's free. I just got, I want to think about my safety tether, so. Yeah. NASA astronaut Woody Hoberg is now moving into position uh, to unfold IROSA uh, to help secure it to the right side of the mounting bracket alongside NASA astronaut Steve Bowen. Here it is. What the adjustable external? That is not installed. Oh, that's the uh, that, right Yes, the second one that you touched is not in. So we need you to reinstall that. For here. That's right. Thanks, Steve. Copy, Steve. That is a good mate. You can move on to disconnecting saw cable P7 from panel P7. All right. Saw cable P7 from factor P7. You can now see live views of NASA astronaut Steve Bowen working to mate and demate some cables on the IROSA. The tide are looking to be in a good config. Got one wire tie located. Keep them secure. We agree. All right, finally, P7 Alpha made the P7. Great job, Steve. Uh, you can move on to copy to hard stop. You can move on to connecting J7 Alpha to saw cable P7. And that didn't work. Woody, we agree your worksite is in a good config. Uh, we will have a glove inspection, hap check, and gauntlet check for you before you translate to R7 and 8. NASA astronaut Steve Bowen is currently working to connect the last cable. Once it is connected, he will verify that all the connect connectors are configured as expected and clean up any remaining cable slack. I got, uh, it's down. Hey, firm. That looks down. Copy. Good checks from Woody. All right, I think that's going to do it. Woody, you can translate to the hinge bolts. X A firm mate P7 alpha to panel P7. Uh, 
Yes, I have P-23 Alpha. Made it to panel P-23, no flawed, no bent pins, good EMI band. Copy, confirm it's to connect our hard stop. Guns, I got 17 and a half turns, green light, two decimal four foot pounds on R7. Copy, R7, 17 and a half turns, green light, two decimal four on the torque. Driving R8. Here you go. You're seeing live views of Steve Bowen working to drive the final eight bolts. He is currently on the third of eight. The second of the two restraint bolts has been fully released, and IROSA will begin deploying over the next six to ten minutes. Short handover. We have our video back. Everything is looking great. I have two cautions for you, Woody. You can now see live views of the International Space Station Rollout Solar Array as it begins to unfurl as the space station flies over the coast of uh, the southwest United States. This is five less than before. Okay, I copy. Thank you. I'll be cautious. Sounds good to us. Everything's looking really good to us. Again, well done, you two. Woody, again, you have to stay put, but Steve, you can get moving if you want to. We're still well ahead of schedule, so uh, you can stay and look a little longer if you prefer it, but your next step is to pick up your green hook. All right, I'm going to head back and pick up my green hook. Come here. Copy. Woody, if we can, we'd love to adjust your heck of you a little bit. If you could pitch back at all for us, we'd appreciate it. Thank you. Woody Hoberg is continuing to monitor the IROSA as it deploys. Meanwhile, uh, Steve Bowen is translating back to the IROSA carrier to reconfigure the carrier beams that previously held the upright IROSA. These beams will need to be rotated out of the way to allow access to the lower IROSA, which will be installed on next week's EVA on June 15th.
Once fully deployed, the IROSA, or International Space Station, Rollout Solar Array will measure 60 feet long by 20 feet wide and will shade a little more than half of the original array. Each new IROSA will produce more than 20 kilowatts of electricity and once installed will enable a 30% increase in power production over the, station, over the station's current arrays. Hopefully those came out. We'll see. Copy. Steve, whenever you're ready, you're headed to the FSE. Heading to the FSE. On my way. Copy. I have more cautions and warnings for you when you're ready. All right. Give me one second. Clear this. I'll be ready. Let me know. Warning and a reminder, grapple shafts and curvet coupling are no touch zones. No sudden movements, quick grabs on the FSE. Wait until motion dampens out before imparting loads on the FSE. Don't simultaneously impart loads into the FSE. This is for when Woody is also ready to translate. And do not contact the IROSA blanket. Copy. And I copy all. Deploy, to deploy on the starboard four truss connected to the 1A power channel of the space station as the space station flies over South Dakota. I do not have a fair lead listed for you, Steve, and no green hook drop. Let me just confirm. Okay. All right, that's fine. Good enough. Yeah, I can confirm that now, Steve. Um, there is no action for a fair lead or green hook drop. You are just translating directly onto the FSE from the port CETA cart. So do not take the POA path. Do not take the POA path. All right, I will do that. A firm, different path right than last time. time. Probably good view there, Jenny. Hey, firm. And I think my first bolts are C7, C8, correct? Hey, firm, that's right. You're going to be at Stanchion Alpha, and this is a Bravo 7 setting, so you might need to get in a better brace position. Let me know when you're ready for settings. are nearly complete. More words for you in a minute. Okay, thank you. All right, 
link the settings for C7, C8. Bravo 7, counter 2. Bravo 7, counter 2. Good readback. You'll be releasing C7 and C8. Expect 8 to 11 turns. James, I'm thinking I might need to move to see those. Do you agree with that, or am I missing something? Magnets. A firm, Woody, you will have to move, and you are go to translate right now. Right now, you're seeing views of NASA astronaut Steve Bowen as he works to release the beam restraint bolts. He has already released one of them and has a couple more to go. And 10.6 turns. Bravo 10, NASA astronaut Woody Hoberg is now working to release blanket tensioner bolts. Thank you, Jam. Starting with R11. Copy, R11. <sighs> Meanwhile, NASA astronaut Steve Bowen is working on a get ahead task to release uh, some additional beam restraint bolts. System works. All right, bag is complete. Point for my PGT down a little bit. Hey, what do you hear, Jumps? Ground copies. All right, retrieving my adjustable. NASA astronaut Steve Bowen just released the final beam restraint bolts. Sure. Short handover. I got it. Copy, you got it. Find the. And I've got my adjustable on it. Copy. We need Bravo 3, counter 2. Firm. I, uh, that's what, it, thank you. Bravo three, counter two, I'm looking at it, it's set. Copy, good settings. Confirm that you have tethered to the ARD and then you can release that stop block bolt 10 turns. NASA astronaut Steve Bowen continues to work on releasing a set of R bolts for next week's spacewalk. Um, you heard them reference a turkey timer, which is basically a status indicator to ensure right. bolts are fully released. From this view, you can see both of today's socket swap complete with full test empty trash bag. Copy, Woody. I will have more words for you shortly. Copy. All right. Ready for Alpha and Romeo 4. Copy, Steve. I have you ready for R4 
Your settings are Alpha 3, Counter 3. NASA astronaut Steve Bowen just finished releasing the first set of bolts um, in his get ahead task on the boom end of the lower IROSA. These bolts um, allow the boom deployment system rollers to be moved into place to help with array deployment for next week's spacewalk. Now he'll move on to a second set of bolts, which will release two of four mechanisms that hold the IROSA in its rolled up configuration. Woody, again, you can translate back in the direction of the crew lock bag. On your way, we will have you cinch the other adjustable tether that's temp sewing the beam. Perfect, I copy that. Yeah, okay, I'm not sure there's a good way to get the R1 or R2 from here. Uh, might be pipe crawling on the end of the arrays here. There's no good place to hold on to, right? to release the second of two bolts. Um, this will release two of four mechanisms that hold the IROSA or International Space Station roll up, roll out solar array in its rolled up configuration. Okay, just I'm swing myself around here in a second. It was still my PGT without hitting the blanket boxes. Okay. Houston copies R2 is released and we appreciate you being wary of those blankets. Turns. Access to the lower IROSA, which will be deployed on next week's spacewalk on June 15th. Okay. Sure. Hoberg and Bowen remained about an hour ahead on their tasks today, so they were able to complete several get ahead tasks. I'm currently at my anchor. The first of those tasks was to release the anti-rotation device for next week's IROSA install, along with some R bolts on the boom end of the IROSA for next week. And they also retrieved some FOD or foreign object debris. I've got eyes on it. Um, I can see it too. Yeah, deciding where I want to do my spin move. I don't think you have to do much of a spin move. Yeah, okay. I agree. Just come on down and get on the handrail, the circular handrail, and then you can rotate around on that. Yep. I'm up on the forward edge. Right. Woody, we come need to, come on in. we need you to power off your HECA. When you powered it off, you powered it on. Ah, that's fun. I believe it is off now. I pressed the button once. All right, let me get my head Copy. Copy. I wait till I get my legs inside. 